That must be quality meat. Oh, I can't tell from talking about that human or the thing he's eating. Hmm, <laughs> smoked as well. How to get him away? Oh, he's going in his tent to get something. Now's my chance. <laughs> Perhaps I should take him too. Ah, oh, smells delicious. Oh, hi. Oh, jeez, you dropped your stuff. So clumsy. Ah, oh, yes, I am holding the meat. Sorry I got hungry, and this smells so good. Hmm? Why are you backing off? I can't be that scary, am I? <laughs> I mean, I would understand why you'd be scared of me if you were an Omega, but... But you're human. Yes, indeed. Oh, don't worry. I have no ill intentions. Just sit down. I said sit down. We can either have a lovely chat to see what I am to do with you after you've discovered us, or I can <laughs> kill you right here. But the pups wouldn't mind some extra dinner. Me? Oh, you're stuttering. How cute. I was just walking around. Yes, I do live in the forest. It's quite a nice large house in there. Hmm? These ears? Oh, indeed, they are. I'm supposed to be questioning you. What a cunning little human. What are you doing out here? Stop falling in here. Have a chair. It's your chair. You set it up. Oh, wow, well, that's quite impressive. Your tent is actually quite cosy with all those pillows and quilts instead of sleeping bags. Quite spacious, too. What's that in your hand? Ah, uh, yes, instant noodle. The best. Of course I know these things. We live amongst humans as well. Of course you can't tell us apart, but we sure can do you. So... What are you doing deep in the forest? This area is banned, I believe. Didn't you read the sign? No one comes into the forest. Only we go out. Ah, oh, running away from problems in life, I see. Life can be really annoying. What are you running from? Or should I ask who? Stressful work. Oh, well, you came to the right place to hide. Except you failed to hide from me. There's packs, and packs of wolves here. Not all can shapeshift like us. Not all communicate to humans and negotiate like I will do. Don't worry. I'm sitting here. No wolf dare trespass my area to hunt my prey. I'm an alpha, head of the pack. Unfortunately, I'm the younger female, so unless my older sister dies, which I don't hope happens, I won't be needed for command yet. My sister has been governing quite all right, so there's no need for me to kill her. Oh, this tastes so good. Here, you made it, you have some. You're a rather good cook for someone in the wild. Now I'm seriously considering taking you back. Well, do you have a choice? Come on, leave your stuff here. You might want to take a jacket. I'll bring you to me my older sister. We'll have to see what to do with a helpless little human like you. Can't have us being exposed. Chances are you'd tell the police or the forest ranger, and they wouldn't believe you. But, if out of millions of possibilities, you happen to have told the special hunters, my pack would be in grave trouble. I'd make so many people shed blood. 
and I would not like that to happen. We are living quite a happy, peaceful life. I'm already being merciful to you by not just making you look like a suicide, so you better listen up and come with me, or this love is quite steep. Don't worry, when we sort things out, I'll be all nice again. Come on, down this way. Close your tent so it looks like you're just sleeping, in case anyone comes. Bring your food. Oh, hi. Well, can you run as fast as me? Will you be able to keep up in my wolf form? It'll be a bit of a walk with such a weak human like yourself. Come along. Careful, it's dark. Oh, right. You should have brought your torch. Weak humans like you have horrible night vision. Do you have a phone on you? No. Oh, how dumb of you. I could have just done you now. You would be dead, bleeding on the ground, and no one would know. You don't even have a phone to call for help. If I were you, I would have sneaked my phone to call someone. I mean, it'd be worthless anyway with my watch. Oh, don't worry, I don't have any bloodthirst. All right, then. Let's see what we can do. Can't have you tripping everywhere. It'll only slow us down. We'd arrive at my elder sister's by sunrise at this pace. Hmm. Here, hold my tail. And don't you dare pull it. If you pull, I'll wait you here. Hand? I'm not giving you my hand. That is more awkward than tail. Plus, it keeps some distance between us. My tail has less nerves than my hand does, so it won't feel too much pain. <laughs> I trust you won't run. <laughs> I mean, you wouldn't have anywhere to go. You'd be lost. And with my senses, I'd catch you in no time. Now, hurry along, before I get too frustrated and end up eating you. Humans? <laughs> Humans, of course they are edible. When we shift into our wolf form, we can eat anything raw and it tastes delicious. Disgusted? Why would I be disgusted? This human form of mine is merely a skin, a disguise to better monitor the society. Oh, don't worry, I was just scaring you. I don't intend on eating you. Not right now. Not if you behave. Just you wait, humans. We shall take over one day. Hmm? Oh, nothing. What are you talking about? Even my wolf ears didn't detect anything. It must be some squirrel. You must have been hearing some other animal in this forest. Oh, the wind's strong tonight. Here, have my coat. Your jacket won't be enough. My coat's real fur. It'll be a lot warmer. It's fur of a dead animal that died already. So no, I didn't kill someone for this. I agree. Ethical. It's important. However, as a wolf, it's all about survival. Come along. Please, excuse me if I've become too... rude. If you enjoyed this, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.